Well, Juliana Pena, thank you so much for joining us back on Fox Sports Australia. Thank you so much, Nico, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed. No Issa this time around. Last time we spoke, she was crawling all over you, causing a, a ruckus. <laughs> spoke too soon. Hey, there she is. Uh, look, it's a massive fight this weekend for you, Juliana. Last time we spoke, I asked you, it was sort of a week after you won the belt. Were you sort of tired of all the media commitments and having, you know, all the, all the obligations that are required of a champion? I'll ask you now, seven months removed from that, are you tired of it now? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'll never get tired of it. Amanda passed me the torch. It's mine and I'm ready to be in this spotlight. I'm ready to meet these media obligations and, and do everything that is required of the champion to do. This is what I wanted. There's no complaints out of me. Well, it was a, an incredible uh, fight the last time. You pulled off one of the, the greatest upsets they're, they're saying in UFC history, but you still enter this fight against Amanda, this rematch, as the underdog yet again, quite, quite the, a significant underdog as well. Why do you think that is and what do you make of that? Um, probably because Amanda had such a dominant reign as a champion and was, and was taking everybody out. Um, but, you know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I don't concern myself too much of the underdogs or the favorites or anything like that. I kind of let the gamblers do the gambling thing and, and me just focus on what I have to do. And uh, like I said the first time, I guarantee you she's not looking at me as an underdog at all. We were talking just now in the studio, in fact, with uh, Alexander Volkanovsky and Robert Whittaker, and they were saying that maybe Amanda needed that loss to you to, I guess, refine herself and, 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 I don't know, maybe find that desire and that fire again. Are you wary of what might be a new and, and improved and a more hungry Amanda? Amanda is a very dangerous fighter and she has shown such a dominant reign, but I do believe that her time as champion at 135 is over and that yeah. her era is in the past. So let the past be the past. She passed the torch and I'm not giving it back and it's my time now. There are some questions, and I say this respectfully, that because it happened, well, it seemed to happen the first fight so easily for you. Like, I mean, Amanda just looked like she didn't want to be in there. Is there a chance, or have you had to be wary of, I guess, maybe some complacency on your end? Maybe you're, you're walking into a false sense of security here at all, Juliana? No, I definitely don't want to continue to live in the past and, and live on the fact that I was able to make it look easy you know i was in a in a great state i was in a flow state for me and uh the biggest thing for me is to go out there and do my job and focus on what i do well and and know that you know amanda's very dangerous everywhere and i'm absolutely going to be wary and on edge and ready for everything that she brings and i'm going to be bringing my best as well Back then, she said she wasn't at her A game. Well, I wasn't at my A game either. And now we're going to come to see our A games and, and see who, who gets their hand raised at the end of the day. And, um, you know, I'm just excited to, to continue my reign as champion and excited to get my hand raised on Saturday night. Well, Juliana Pena, we can't wait to see you back in action this weekend. I've got to thank you so much for coming on so late over there, of course, on Fox Sports Australia. We appreciate your time and wish you all the best this weekend. Thank you so much for the time, Nico. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Yeah, there she was, the Venezuelan vixen. It's going to be